Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the selection sort algorithm. So we want to sort the following array using the selection sort algorithm. And here I have the array in blue. And I have the algorithm here in red for selection sort. So uh, the selection sort algorithm works like this. It says for i equals 1 to n minus 1. So it goes from the start of the array to 1 minus uh, the length of the array. So that's our value n. And then it assigns minimum to the first element. So it says the first element is the minimum element. So in this case, 21 would be the minimum element. Um, then it goes into another loop and it starts at i plus one. So it starts not at i, which would be our 21 here, but it would be 43. So j would equal to i plus one, which is 43. And it's gonna go from uh, the second element all the way up to n, which is the length of the array. So from 43 to our 11 here. Now, if the current position that we're in for j, so in this case, right now we're in um, j plus, I'm sorry, i plus 1, which is 43. If that's less than the array min, so our array min is equal to i, so i equals 1. So at position 1, we have 21. Um, but in this case, we're comparing 43 and we're checking to see if 43 is less than 21 and it's not, it's greater than, so we don't assign a new minimum value for J. Instead, we're going to, uh, go back here inside the loop. J is going to increment by one and it's going to go to two. Now we're going to check is, uh, two less than 21. Yes, it is. So now our new index, um, our new minimum has a new index and it's at position J, which is where our two is. Okay. So, um, now we're done with that. So we go back J increments again. So now our J value, um, is here and it gives us 15. So we check if 15 is less than our array min and remember our array min updated is now this two value and it's not. So uh, J increments again, we check uh, six here. So we go here, we say is six less than two. No, it's not. So we increment J again and we go to 11. And then we say is 11 less than two. No, it's not. So now we finally go, um, we're out of the loop here and we're gonna go to this if statement and we're gonna say if min does not equal I, which was right now currently our I value still here, it's still the 21. So it doesn't, it equals uh, this value here, which would be, let's see, if i is one here, two, three, so it equals three. So if min does not equal i, and it doesn't, three does not equal one, then we're gonna swap the uh, two elements. So we're gonna swap the element at array position min, which is here, the two, with the array at position i. So the array at position i is 21. So we're gonna swap the two and the 21. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. I'm gonna rewrite this here, perfect. So now we swapped, um, actually I'm gonna use a blue marker here because we'll never go back here again, because this is the first part of the loop here, of the outer loop. So this is sorted now. That two is sorted. And then we have um, 43. And now where we had the position two, we swapped it, so it's 21. And then we have all the rest of the elements, 15, 6, and 11. So that's what our array looks like now after the first pass. Okay. So now I'm just going to, uh, you just keep doing the element, I mean, sorry, keep doing the algorithm over and over again. I'm not going to step through the algorithm one by one like we did here. So now we're going to go to this 43 here. So we check to see is 43 less than 21. 
uh, I'm sorry, we check to see if, uh, yes, 43 is less than, I'm sorry, we check to see if 21 is less than 43, and it is. So now 21 is our smallest value. Then we check to see is 21 uh, greater than 15, and uh, yes, it is. So we have to uh, remember now that 15 is our minimum value. And then we check to see if 15 is greater than six, and it is. So now six is our minimum value, and we check to see if uh, six is greater than 11, and it's not. So six is our minimum value, and what we're gonna do is swap that six with 43. So now we get two, which is already sorted, and then six, and Then we get 21, 15, and remember we swapped the 6 into 43, so we get 43, and then 11. Okay, and then we're going to continue with this. So now we are here with the element 21. We check if 21 is uh, less than 15, and it isn't. So our 15 is our new minimum element. We check to see if 15 is less than 43, and it is. So 15 is still our minimum element, and then we check if 11 is um, less than 15, and it is, so 11 is our new minimum element, so we swap 11 with 21. So now our array looks like this. Oh. 2, 6, 11, and then, 15, 43, and because we swapped 11 and 21, this becomes 21 here. Okay. All right, so now we go to 15. We say it's 15 less than 43. It is, so 15 is still our minimum. Is 15 less than 21? It is, so 15 is still our minimum. So 15 is already sorted. So we have 2, 6, 11, 15. And then um, we have 43 and 21. Okay. So now we are here at 43, and we check to see if 43 is less than 21, and it's not. So we have to swap 21 and 43. So we get 2, 6, 11, 15, um, 21. And because our algorithm only goes to n minus 1, we know that that last element is already sorted. So it's 43. And that's the end of our selection sort algorithm. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave likes, comments, questions. Please subscribe and don't forget to become a supporter on Patreon. Thanks as always for watching and I see you guys all in the next video.